Hello and welcome to today's video. So today we're talking about the Kami. And the Kami is the best tank ever made. It just is. By far. There's no debating it. And of course, because it is the best tank ever, that means in War Thunder, it is also the best tank. And it's rather strange considering they put this tank at battle rating 1. So, first we'll look at the ammo. As you can see, it's got the best ammo of any Japanese tank for a 37mm gun. The other 37s have about 20 mil less pen. I think one of them, maybe 10 mil less pen. Either way, they're still worse. The armor is very thick. We don't need to look at that. Now we've looked at the basics. Let's look at it in combat. So we start this fight by pulling towards an objective. We see the enemy in the distance. So we stop to fire at him, which isn't necessary, as it does have a stabilizer on this vehicle. So I was merely stopping to make it a slightly easier shot, but it's not actually that hard to hit while firing. Move towards the objective. And as we get onto the objective, from behind that rock there comes a Swede. Now they forgot to armor this vehicle, so it's very easy to kill. They thought angles would do something, but clearly not. But then again, nothing would really stop the Kami, now would it? We skip forward a little bit and we get an easy kill on a BT. And we skip forward again to see yet another BT. Put a round into him, and it doesn't quite stop him. So push up. Now of course we know that Gaiden has a bias towards the Soviets, that's why you actually survive a round from a Kami. However, that doesn't mean he'll survive, so we keep pushing up, and he decides that he wants to come around from the back of the hill to push and try and fire at me. Now, I'm sure if you've ever driven a Soviet tank, you'll know the problem with them. They have no idea how to aim lower than completely level. He just can't aim that low, and just has to die. We push him a bit further, we see an enemy anti-aircraft gun, and we just machine gun him to death because we have three machine guns, it's very easy. We got another one too, with our nice 37. And we sniped that guy from quite far away. So as you can see, the Kami is an absolutely incredible war machine. It's completely unstoppable. But it doesn't end there, because of course the Kami can float. Because in all reality, this thing was designed to be used not as a tank, but more of as a boat. So as we push up towards this bridge here, we see a BT going across it really fast, and we show them what the Imperial Japanese Navy has. So anyway, that's the end of this video. I know it's short and whatnot, but I thought for my last War Thunder video it would make one of it a bit more fun. Also, there's not really much historical record in this tank either, so I can't really say much about that. So I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be.